In a pivot table, it's easy to group the data if it's a date or a number field. So here we have order dates, and I can right click on any date, click group, and then I could group by months or quarters or months and years. When I click OK, everything's nicely grouped without any problem. But sometimes, instead of numbers or dates, you might have text in this row label area. So here's the same pivot table, but this time I have the product name in the row labels area. We're going to be doing some marketing, and I'd like to group a few of these together. But when I right click on this field and click group, I get a warning message that tells me it can't group that selection. So with text, you can't just right click and group things. But you can manually select the items that you want in a group and then group them. So for our first marketing campaign, we're going to focus on a few of our best selling items. So I'll click on chocolate chip and then press the control key. I'll click on potato chips and banana. Now that I've got more than one item selected, I can use that group shortcut. So I'll right click on one of the selected items, click group, and it automatically creates a group from banana, chocolate chip and potato chips. It created another field called product 2. The original field was product. And any item that isn't in this new group has become its own group in that product 2 field. I can create another group now. I'll create a group for the second marketing campaign. And for that one, we're going to focus on pretzels. So I'll click that, press control, and click carrot and arrow root. And now I'll right click on one of those selections, group, and now we have group two and group one. If I want to ungroup one of the groupings, I can right click on the heading and ungroup. And I'm just going to undo that so that group is created again. If I want to ungroup everything, I can click up at the top of the column and that selects all of the items in that product two field. And I can right click on one and ungroup and that takes out all those groupings and that product to field has disappeared. Again, I'm going to undo just so that comes back. Another thing we can do is rename a group. So instead of group one, which is the default name, I'll call this campaign one. And one last thing that we can do when items are group is add another item to a group. So perhaps we want a fourth item in this group too. So I've selected all those items and we'll put oatmeal raisin in as well. So I'll control and click on that and right click on one of the selected items, group, and now oatmeal raisin is in group two. If you do that with something that you've renamed, so here's campaign one, I'll select those items and we'll put saltines in. So control and click on saltines, right click, and group that puts saltines in but if you've renamed the group you go back to the default group name so for text you can manually select items and group them rename groups and then later ungroup if you don't need those groups any longer for more excel tips and tutorials and to download the sample file for this video please visit my contextures website at www.contextures.com